Henriette was the second daughter born to King Louis the Fifteenth of France and his queen, Maria Lyschewska. She was a younger twin after Princess Louise Elizabeth, and the pair were born at the Palace of Vassell on the 14th of August, 1727. Louis and his queen were rumoured to be barren, and so he was initially delighted to have made not just one, but two children. However, the French courtiers were displeased that they were female, and Salic law disqualified them from being heirs to the throne. The pair were baptised at Vassell on the 27th of April, 1737, and Anne was named Anne Henriette after her paternal great-great-grandmother, Henrietta, Duchess of Orleans. She was given noble godparents, Louis Henry, Duke of Bourbon, and Louise Anne de Bourbon as her godparents. Anne Henriette became the filly de France and was seen as a great catch in terms of getting engaged often referred to as Madame Seconde, due to being the second-born twin. Louis' older legitimate children were raised together with their siblings at the Palace of Vassell, with the governess of the children of France, Marie Isabelle de Rowan, Duchess de Tallard, looking after them. The younger siblings, Victoire, Sophie, Therese and Louise, were sent to be raised at the Abbey of Front of Fraud in June 1738. In 1739, Elizabeth left France to marry an unworthy and uncrowned match, infant Philippe, the third son of the King of Spain. And both girls were desperately sad to be separated, but they would see each other again, unlike many other princesses that are married into foreign families. It was normal for royal children to become part of the political French courts from the age of 12, and they were also allowed to make decisions on their own hobbies and festivities. Henriette and Adelaide joined their father at the opera and went hunting with him five days a week. The girls were given their own royal household with two ladies in waiting and Henriette was perceived as a beautiful twin and it was no secret that she was her father's favourite daughter due to her gentle but loyal nature. Despite being beautiful, the king had no rush to marry his favourite daughter to potential suitors and Louis-Francois, Prince of Conti, approached the king on a hunting trip, asking for his daughter's hand in marriage, in a bid to keep her in France, rather than send her abroad, never to be seen again. But Louis refused to entertain the idea that he could make her happy. Henriette took her love life into her own hands and fell in love with Louis-Philippe, heir to the House of Orleans, her cousin. She wanted to marry him, and the marriage was approved, but the king changed his mind as he was uncomfortable with the House of Orleans, being so close to the throne. Louis-Philippe became frustrated and impatient, and so married someone else, leaving Henriette heartbroken. Her ambitious twin had been married abroad to the third son of the King of Spain, and she was naturally unhappy with being matched to a man without a crown. Henriette kept in contact with her sister, and assisted in championing the pair to become the heads of Parma after the Austrian succession. She was passionately devoted to working for the political ambitions of her twin. The children of the Queen Consort, Maria of France, loved and respected her dearly, despite the Queen lacking affection. So after nine pregnancies, the Queen's body had been through a lot, and the King, their father, was beginning to explore his sexual maturity. This caused tension between the siblings and their father, and they disapproved of his actions to neglect their mother. Madame de Pompadour, the, the Queen's new lady-in-waiting, and the King's new mistress, bore the brunt of their disapproval, and they called her Mother Hall. When Louise Elizabeth returned from Parma, she managed to temporarily mend the tensions by befriending the King's mistress. But Henriette became unwell and died unexpectedly from smallpox in 1752 after feeling tired for only a few days, and she was only 24 years old. She did not show signs of being desperately unwell when she went on a sledge ride with her father, but her condition worsened quickly and she died three days later to the complete shock of the family. Henriette was the favourite daughter of King Louis XV, and so when she died he was in a violent despair he threw his weight around in frustration to enhance public mourning. 
He arranged for her to be laid to rest in a beautiful gown, and she almost looked alive. She was put on show at Tullerie's, instead of Vassell, before the funeral. But the public drank and laughed during a sombre time, much to the dismay of the king. Her heart was interred in the Abbey of Val de Grace, while her remains were buried at the Basculo of St. Denis, along with her sister Elizabeth. Her tomb, like other royal tombs at St. Denis, was destroyed during the Revolution. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories, and leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them.